Hello, you job. Right, uh, get on with it. Divine female. The beginning of my last video, I said about this big lie, and it's made, it's had a real impact on um, my soul progression, which is sort of the best thing you could be doing, progressing your soul. And it's brought, yeah, it's been bringing me back to real young memories, basically when the error that men are better than women came into my soul, because I was, I grew up like that, I lived most of my life like that. So there's some repentance in there too. And so when I had this idea that the opposite is true, it's true. It's like... Like there is equality, but where we are now, physical, this physical universe, everything, everything touch, that's all Mother God. And Daddy God is like <laughs> zipping around, doing his inspiration, as we males do, just simple, shining. <laughs> Mother God is the, the the one making it happen. This this was I was trying to think of a good analogy for how how it goes. Say say a, a couple, and they're in you know they're in the middle of nowhere. The man will sit and think, and it will be the man that decides. We go this way, or this way, or this way, or this way. But it'd be the woman who sort of executes things. Let, all right, let's say going on holiday. So it's the man that decides we're going to go to Spain. Then the woman takes over. That doesn't mean she does everything the man just sits around. She'll delegate. She'll give the man things to do. And he wants that. Nothing happens with that woman. Look at me, I am a prime example. I'm a prime example. I haven't had a woman for eight years. I've been single for eight years. Nothing gets done. The house, I only clean it when I absolutely have to. Empty the rubbish when I absolutely have to. It's, it's, there's no system here. It's just... Ugh. If there was a woman involved, it would be ship shape. And anyway, it suits me for my purposes. It's, it's, hard to, it's hard to get this grasp, but... So like without the woman nothing happens, the woman executes things. So God, Mother God is executing the plan. It's, it's Mother God doing it. So, it's, instead of me there thinking before, oh there's Father God and Mother God and Mother God is just there comfort me and, and uh, doing she's doing so much more and realizing this has you know been been good it's been giving me feelings <clears throat> and there's a uh, it, it brings more out about this analogy with um, Satan not bowing down to the man when so this analogy you know, Satan's there complaining. We made us first. We're made out of fire. La 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 la. And we have to bow to that. This is all. This is this is Adam. Adam being Satan, and Eve being man. Right? Seems a bit weird, but with my analogy of the soul, 
the male soul being light, like the sun of the solar system, and the, and the woman being all the planets, all the substance, all that complexity, all that what's going on. If it is true then, that God made man, for Adam first, the male, and maybe that was done so that God would know that he, she got Adam's full attention, teaching him about things. And it's quite possible too that when Adam was made, he was a, a being of light. He was quite different to what we are now. Didn't need food. So then God makes Eve after prepared, you know, got Adam prepared, made Eve the woman. It's a later creation. It's, it's more updated. And therefore it's higher. Like a divine feminine. And women aren't like that so much anymore, though they are starting to be again, but that, because they've been suppressed so much. Women have been suppressed. I mean, come on, they've burnt loads of them. All those women who have burnt as witches, they would have been, you know, they would have practiced, they would have known their power. And I do mean power because that's the women <laughs> make things happen. Right? <coughs> so women, <coughs> women were a later creation. So they're like human being Mark Two. So men are, in a sense, supposed to serve the women because they're a higher creation. This is the this is the interesting thing. I think this this doesn't mean that I will just do what any any woman tells me to do. Because if, if a woman can be in a bad condition, a woman can do evil acts and be evil too. You know, that's so. But what I'm seeing now, every time I walk past a woman, or I'm in the presence of a woman, instead of me having my old belief system of I never, you know, for the last few years I haven't been thinking as superior to women, but I didn't really understand women. I didn't know what they were, you know, were apart from, you know, sexual objects. That's quite often in my mind if there's a... And that I'm starting to see this um, sexual pro projection from women now as, as, a, as a more of a defence mechanism. Um... It's 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 been their way of of having some control because because you know it's on the man's mind. That's all the man thinks of the woman. It's just this, you know, all she's good for there is sitting there and looking pretty. And, and so women are doing the wrong thing by by going into that by by you know, but it's changing changing um, it is which is good it's all God's plan right <laughs> yeah uh. so to sum that bit up Satan wouldn't bow to the clay and refused that's that's in the vast majority of men still. This later creation woman. They re refuse to acknowledge that as a higher creation. Divine female. That's good. That was, bye bye.